Hey everybody, Seamount for Life here. Uh, I'm very excited to be sharing some videos with you here. Just got access to the preview early version of PGA 2K21. I haven't had the game for very long, so I don't have a ton of feedback other than my impressions are pretty positive at this point. But what I wanted to do is a lot of people out there that are, you know, wondering about the swing, and I know I would be one of those if I didn't have the game in hand. So what I want to do next is just spend the next couple of minutes, go through the actual tutorial that's in this game, it goes through four or five different sections and just let the game explain what the mechanics are. I'll sit back, mute my mic, enjoy the ride. Hello there and welcome to PGA Tour 2K21. My name is John and my job is to get you swinging that club like a pro in as little time as possible. Let's crack into it. To begin your swing, pull back on the swing stick. When your golfer's at the top of their backswing, press the swing stick forward. Give it a go. Great work on that one. After each shot, you will get feedback as to how accurate your shot was in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a white stripe, and that is your swing plane, and that is where your swing needs to live. The more difficult the shot, the more narrow your swing plane will be, so pay attention out there. Now let's try another swing and keep it inside that white stripe. Good job. And you're also going to receive feedback on your swing timing, and that's the meter that kind of wraps around the top of your swing accuracy indicator. Your backswing timing refers to the point at which you transition from backswing into downswing. If you do this too early, you're going to reduce the power of your shot. If you do it too late, you're going to add power but increase the difficulty of the swing. Your downswing timing refers to how quickly you flick that swing stick forward. If your downswing is too fast, you'll hook it, and if it's too slow, you'll slice it. Let's try to get perfect timing on this next swing. That was well done. Congratulations, you got the basics down, Pat. Can't wait to see you use some of these lessons out on the course. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about one of the most important skills you can have at your disposal, and that is putting. Now, to begin your putt, pull back on the swing stick. The farther you pull back, the stronger your putt will be. The back swing meter at the bottom of your screen is gonna give you a nice work. The putt weight is how hard you hit your putt. To set your putt weight, move the aim marker towards or away from you. The further away from you the marker is, the stronger your putt will be. Since this is a downhill putt, we will want to ease up on our weight. So move your aim marker a little bit closer to you by pulling down on the aim stick, and then have a go at this putt. Well, you've got that one down. Those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt is going to break to the right, so you're going to have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the aim stick to make adjustments before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. Well, you've got the hang of this one. And with that, you are ready to tear it up out there on the greens. Metaphorically speaking, obviously, as with any skill in this game, this is going to take a lot of practice, and it does come down to feel, so I encourage you to play as much as you can. Hello, and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am going to show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. 
Okay, so for this shot, you're hitting into the wind. This means you are going to have to club up, or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wedge, then just pop this shot onto the green. Good job on that one. Now it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not going to do. Now to get on the green from here, you are going to need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. That's the stuff. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain, and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. For this particular situation, let's change our club to the sand wedge, and then change our shot type to a splash shot, which is a great shot for getting out of these greenside bunkers. After that, give that swing a go. See if you can stick it close. That's what we're looking for. And now that you know a thing or two about shot types, I'd encourage you to keep on trucking with these lessons and get into some more advanced stuff, because I think you're ready for it. Hello there, and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about techniques you're gonna to wanna to master if you want to compete with the pros. Let's begin. In this situation, we are gonna to need to take a partial swing. If you chip this with full power, it's gonna blow right by the hole. So, we are going to have to move our aim marker closer to us to compensate. Move the aim marker a little bit closer to you. See if you can get about a 75% power chip and then use the backswing meter at the bottom of your screen to dial in the proper strength for this chip. Good job, that's what we're looking for. You're gonna come across situations like this one where you want to adjust the spin and loft of your shot. In this case, we want to land our shot on the green softly without a whole lot of roll. And for that, we need to add some backspin. Hold down the true shot button and move your aim stick down to increase your loft and backspin. And then have a go at this pin and see if you can land it nice and soft and close. Well, no need to linger on this lesson. Applying a fade or draw to your golf shot is a great tool to have at your disposal. By holding down the true shot button and moving the aim stick to the left, you can apply a fade. By moving the aim stick right, you can apply a draw to the ball flight. To complete this lesson, apply a fade to your next shot and watch that ball curl gently back into the middle of the driving range. All right, that didn't pan out. Let's give it another go. Hmm, let's uh, just go ahead and give that another try.
Great work. Looks like you've got the hang of that. This is the end of the advanced shots tutorial. If you want to get even more advanced, you can always go to the profile menu and tweak your club selection in your golf bag. Either way, it's going to take a lot of practice to get used to these advanced techniques. And I can't wait to see how your career progresses as you explore the game. All right, there we go. There is the, uh, the shot tutorials, swing tutorials. I wanted the game to explain it a lot better than I ever could. So I wanted to walk you through that. One final thing I want to note right now that I'm super excited about is they have added this swing calibration option now on the range. And this is huge because as somebody who plays across platforms and somebody who maybe feels they were at a disadvantage in the golf club 2019 by playing on Xbox or PS uh, or place or I'm sorry, or the PC and we're playing on PS4 because it was quote unquote, a little bit easier to hit your tempo and your swing line. This will actually allow you to calibrate your downswing, which is huge. So you can jump into here. It allows you to then hit 10 shots and it will measure whatever your, your downswing speed is. And then that will be your perfect downswing, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And it should be huge across platforms and especially competitive, uh, competitive wise in terms of the TGC tours. So extremely excited to be reporting that back to you guys. This is definitely something that I was asking for at the very least something to maybe pick your perfects, but this is even better where you can actually calibrate it. You hit 10 and then it recalibrates it. And then now your swing would either be faster or slower, depending on what your preference is there or whatever your, um, you know, typical tempo is great stuff there. Also super happy with them adding a splash shot. That's something that I've been asking for, for multiple games since we've always been using the flop and chips to get out of sand uh, traps. And that doesn't make any sense. So happy to report that they've added the splash shot. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for hanging out on the channel. I'll have a few more as well and uh, we'll see you next time.